Chime PPP loan. This is an update. My name is Quentin Banks. If you guys are new to the channel, of course, make sure you guys like and subscribe. We are coming with these videos every single day, and this is the latest update. Now, when it comes to this, I know a lot of people have been using Chime. They've been using Wombly, Blue Acorns, you know, um, a lot of other different lenders as well. Now, drop the comments below. Let me know what phase you are at, whether you're in phase one, phase two. Is this your first loan, your second loan? Feel free to drop those questions and concerns below now i'm going to get into this because somebody was actually suspended through chime got their account suspended if this happened to you as well drop those questions below also let me know as well now i'm going to get right to this now if you guys got questions and concerns at any time as i mentioned feel free to drop those below they said chime suspended my account not ppp loan related believe it or not they said as of 8 25 a.m on 5 14 Chime placed a hold on my spending account and credit builder account due to suspicious login activity as of 9 a.m. I have submitted all of the requested documentation to get my account access restored. It is now 5.30 p.m. and my account is still suspended and Chime can no longer assist me. Their review department only answers their emails. They do not give out their numbers um, to customers. Now, I'm going over this because somebody was actually had their account suspended trying to receive a PPP loan. So if this ever has happened to you, feel free to drop your, uh, you know, the concerns below. They said absolutely BS. I'm leaving Chime the moment they remove the suspension. I'm withdrawing all of my funds and doing something else with my money, period. I have sang their praises in the past, but after this incident and and complete and total breakdown in communication, I'm done. The only suspicious activity in my opinion is where I updated my email address. I couldn't do it through the app and had to submit a support request providing my driver's license and a selfie. Now, a lot of people was going through this when it came to them actually getting funded with the PPP loan. I will tell you guys, um, if you guys don't have the correct information or let's say you needed to change your email address, during times like this, I know a lot of people's account have been banned. You know, they've been, you know, a lot of different suspicious activities where Chime is stating, do I feel like this is right? Um, it's kind of hard to determine, you know, because a lot of fraud is going on. So what they're saying is, if you if you all of a sudden got to change your email address, got to change this, um, your address, your phone number, stuff like that during this time, it is more than likely that they're just going to say, you know what, we're going to suspend your account until all of this is over with. Do I think that um, you will get your account back? 110%, but it's all up against, the, um, you know, for Chime. So they said, so what? Facial hair, peach fuzz, really, is enough for Chime to suspect I'm not the guy with the account? BS, Bancorp is fine. I have no issues with them as I've, I've had over... Um, Find text before. It's Chime. It's 100% Chime. Now, if you guys don't know, Chime actually works with two banks. So you got the Bank Corp, and a lot of people, um, you got Bank Corp, Corp, and then you got Stride. Now, um, a lot of people don't know that, but behind the scenes, there is two banks working with that. And depending on which bank you have, there is different qualifications that they go through. So if you're going through Bank Corp, or if you're going through, you know, the other one, it really all depends. And you really don't know that behind the scenes. But I'm just here to tell you guys, if you guys went through this, feel free to drop those questions and comments below. I know they wanted me to talk about this. And at this point, this customer, this member actually switched their money out and, went and moved on to another bank. My question is, what other banks out there do you guys suggest, um, you know, for a new account? You know, I know there's a lot of new banks out there, but at the end of the day, which bank do you guys suggest as far as opening a new account? As far as what this goes, I would tell you guys that this happens to wait it out. But I totally understand when it comes to, you know, your bank being suspended, your bank having, you know, I mean, you need your money, you need your funds, right? So with that being said, feel free to drop those comments and concerns below. When it comes to this PPP loan, Chime has told me they are still accepting these loans until the end of the month. So you guys still have to have until the end of the month. Just make sure all of the information is correct and accurate. That's one thing I'm going to tell you guys. Make sure it is uh, correct and accurate. Now, you don't want you get your Chime account suspended, you know, but if you if they need verification, and let's say if you had, 
an afro or we have longer hair and now we got it cut you know it's just it's tough it's tough it's very very tough and i totally understand this member because there's not like a physical bank you go to right where you can show them hey i cut my hair you know so if they're going off one picture you might have took three years ago and now you got a whole different, totally new look. And they're looking like, no, this is suspicious, right? So I totally understand that. And that is one of the downfalls of, as far as banking with an online bank. You can change your appearance and then they can look at it as you're somebody else who didn't sign up with this bank account. You know, so it is very, very tough. I do advise everybody to also have another bank. So don't make this your only bank. Have another physical bank that you can go to. To avoid these issues these problems but when it comes to um, chime everything is insured so they should not be able to hold your money it should be insured you should be able to receive your money now if you guys got questions regarding this ppp sba feel free to drop those questions and concerns below also don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys want to be entered in this giveaway that i'm doing every single month very very easy very very simple to be entered I actually got a playlist on my channel that says giveaway. So it doesn't get any more easier than that. My name is Quentin Banks, your financial advisor. So if you guys got questions, feel free to drop them below. Stay loyal, stay blessed. Fund it today, Wompley. We're going to be talking about credit unions, Chime Bank, SBA loans, PPP loans. This is everything you guys need to know. I just currently made a video regarding the PPP loan. I know a lot of people was asking me, yo, Quentin Banks, is the loan did it run out um, what's going on so i did a video previous to this video so if you guys want to go to my channel very very simple you guys can go on there you guys can see that on there um, but we're going to be talking about the funds and it also actually got a timeline so i'm going to give you guys specific dates when you could when um this person who got approved which shout out to this member of my channel and if you guys want to be a member of my channel all you guys got to do is go to my page and i think it says join very, very simple. You guys can join. You'll get extra perks. You'll get um, extra content. Then that's actually an extra entry for you guys to actually win some more money, some more cash apps, gas cards, debit cards, you know, prepaid cards. So all that good stuff. If you guys want to be entered, go ahead and um, go to my channel. You guys can join. But we're going to get right into this because a lot of people is really asking me this question. I'm going to give you guys, let you guys know, May 31st, that is the deadline. So May 31st is, is the deadline. If you guys, you know, still want to apply, go ahead and apply. But you guys got until May 31st. I'm going to give you guys a timeline. And feel free to drop your comments and concerns below because I know a lot of people is going through this, you know, different phases and documents and stuff like that. So feel free to drop where you're at. You know, in this whole process below. Also, I do want to let you guys know when it comes to Chime Bank, they watch my videos, they watch my content. So they love when you guys comment under my videos and interact with them. But let's get right to this. This was strictly from a member. They said funded today, Wobbly and Bensworth, timeline included. So here's a rundown of what I went through before getting my PPP funding. Hopefully it sheds some light on things for someone. I know how stressful it is to be halfway through the process without getting any answers. And that is 100% true. A lot of people are stressed out right now because obviously it's tough times. This economy, you know, it's just, you just shake your head. You know what I mean? It's just a lot going on right now. And I totally understand when you got businesses, you got family, you got rent, you got car payment, you got food. You know, you need the essentials, especially when it comes to this loan. So I'm going to give you guys their timeline and what they expressed to me. Now, 427, they applied with Wompley. 430, they signed the application. 52, they signed a promissory note with Binsworth. The status was SBA approved. I want to let you guys know, within this timeline, it's going to take some time. Now, a lot of people is also thinking they apply, they sign, they get approved all in one day, all in two days. You know, it's a process, guys. The government, they need to know, and these, these um, the lenders, they need to know, number one, you're a business. Number two, Make sure everything is linked up to either your business, your name, your address the same. You know, if, you're, if your address of your business is, is not the same as the address you put on your application, you know, it's going to be fishy. Something, something's not going to be right, right? And, some, and a lot of people actually get denied just based off the address. 
the address being wrong, the name being wrong, the area code being wrong. So I know, you know, when you apply for these loans, apply for, um, you know, for the PPP loan, you want to go real fast, you know, you just want to get over with, but just make sure it's all accurate because you guys got to know this is documentation. This is documentation to the point where if you apply and it doesn't match what's on record, what's on file, especially like your W-2s, your business, you know, everything got to match, right? Your business documentation. So if that doesn't match, it's going to trigger something in the system, you know? So before it even gets to, let's say like an agent or representative, it triggers in the system and you may be automatically denied. Not stating that they may not even tell you why you were denied until two, four, two to four weeks later. So, and by, and by that time, it may be too late. So, you guys want to make sure, number one, all the information is accurate. And number two, make sure all the information is accurate. And I push that to you guys because all the information has to be accurate. You know, I, it just sounds like cliche, like, well, duh. But you would you will be surprised how many people don't understand this. This is a, a quick process, you know, as far as for them to just easily deny you if, oh, the, the information is not um, accurate. You know, and you guys got to think too, if you're a business, you're going to make sure the information is accurate. You're a business, you're a full blown business. You know, if you, if you can't do something simple as that, how are you running a business with money, with management, with employees, you know, and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get back to this. So May 2nd, they signed a promissory note with Bensworth. The status was SBA approved. May 3rd, Wampley asked for um, Fed 2020 bank statement. They uploaded that immediately. They signed the same day. So they signed the updated promissory note status lender funding. So but between um, May 3rd, they not only uploaded those bank documents, but they signed the promissory note that same day. So the next day, funding failure email from Wampley status was funding problem they came to a problem also the same day they updated the bank information again you know um manually assessed by a voided check so that is another way you guys can actually upload that a lot of people's questioning can you use a voided check how can i do this how can i do that and just like it's just typical you know but that's why i said make sure everything's correct they poop their pants status change borrower funded so the next day, they made, they brought, they, they sent in the correct documentations. They were funded that next day. The next day they were funded. Then four days later, they received the funds. I do want to let you guys know, this is business days. So let's say if all this goes on and you may start on Friday, you guys got to play in a factor where a lot of things, you know, especially when it comes to the government, the IRS, business, businesses in general, they're not going to operate on Saturday and Sunday. So you really can't, you can't claim those days, you know, you should be able to, don't get me wrong, but you really can't because they're business days. So sometimes, let's be real, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, but at the end of the day, we can't hundred percent guarantee, oh, Saturday and Sunday is going to count towards you know the process so with that being said it took them four days after so four days and that seems to be from wednesday by five was the wednesday to monday they were funded and like i said you can't count the weekend so from wednesday to monday they were funded and they also began to say i have never had all green checks until 5 10 Funding instructions was the only one I was missing until 5-9 when identity check popped back up also. After some Google searching, I decided to ignore both until five business days pass, which is a good key because like I said, you guys got to go off business days. And there's time frames that they actually have time to respond to you. So if they don't respond within the five business days, 21 business days, you know, they should be, they should do that. You know, I, I have not came across anybody who have not got anything after that but i do want to let you guys know if that is the case write down these numbers write down wombly's number write down your lender's number write down your bank's number all the information that they're giving you write down their number that way if you guys got questions 
two, three, four weeks later, you guys have a number to call because you get in a position where you didn't finish the application, you didn't you said forget the email, their contact, and now you're trying to research their contact. And in reality, they may give you a different number than a normal search, um, you know, than a Google search. So you may have a different number inside of you know all your documentation. They said I end up getting funded in all green checks the same day after three business days. Good luck to everyone. So I want to leave on that good note. Continue or apply. But I want to let you guys know, get these numbers. You guys, you guys need to get these numbers of these lenders. Get these numbers. That way you have, number one, their contact. Just as well like they got your contact. You want to make sure you have their contact because a lot of people, you know, was questioning, well, what number do I call? As I always say, if you guys got questions and concerns, feel free to drop those comments below. I try to keep you guys updated. And to my members of my channel, I 110% appreciate you guys because you guys also keep me updated. And, you know, because a lot of people was asking, you know, you don't know what's going on, but I'm glad that people are getting funded. I'm also glad that they're coming out and saying you have until May 31st. So you have until the end of...